Uh, hi, my name is Joshua Torres. Uh, I was born in Mumbai, India, and then I moved to, or my parents moved to the UAE in 2003. Uh, pretty much did my high school and schooling in Dubai, um, and then I moved to the U.S. Um, came to Seattle, Washington in 2018 for uh, my transfer degree here at Shoreline Community College. Right now, um, I am full-time in school, taking 13 credits at UW, and also working pretty close to full-time uh, for SWK. It's um, a joint venture for a construction company. I'm working on the light rail extension in Redmond uh, as a field engineer slash intern. So right now I'm doing actually CPT. OPT is something that you do after you graduate. Um, so when you're in school, uh, during your senior year, you're, or you can do it either in your summer vacation or you could do it your final year of college, you could uh, get some work experience. So that's what I'm doing right now is doing school and working at the same time. It's obviously not uh, easy. Um, just like connecting with a lot of international students. Uh, we're all just here, obviously you save a lot of money going uh, to a community college. And if you're from the US, there's kind of a stigma of like, oh, you're going to community college. But as international students, we're here to save money. And if you're smart, you usually go to community college, otherwise you, you don't. And so it's the smarter route to go to community college and meeting a bunch of, um, to be honest, there's a, there a huge Indonesian community that I connected with. And uh, we all worked hard together, worked in our math classes, engineering classes, and we all pretty much transferred at the same time uh, to UW. Um, but I think there was a big sense of community that I felt um, at Shoreline, and then that was carried on to UW. Um, one piece of advice I could give to people considering Shoreline Community College is um, you want to use all the resources that Shoreline has to offer. Um, there's a lot and sometimes it can kind of be overwhelming. Um, I think the biggest one I should have used was uh, meeting with students who, grad, who transferred from Shoreline to UW. I definitely met a few of them, few of them but I uh, didn't really connect with them. Uh, I think connecting and staying in touch with them because now looking back the process can seem kind of daunting and like overwhelming of like oh i need to get into my major i need to get into this school um but if you have purpose if you have a drive of like i'm here to study uh for the next couple of years and then eventually transfer if you have that purpose and drive it's it's pretty easy if you talk to people at UW, uh, talk, obviously go to their campus, go to their transfer sessions and see like what they need, what their requirements are. And if you match with that, you're pretty much a straight shot to get in. Um, and also benefit of going to Shoreline Community College is uh, at the end of your two years, you're most likely if you work work pretty hard not i won't say like expect go all out crazy just studying but if you work hard enough um you are guaranteed to have a higher gpa I mean, the gpa doesn't really matter now these days but you're guaranteed to have a higher gpa than those who have done two years at uw and um so that's why getting into your major is easier because you have a higher gpa that's something that they look at um so that's another benefit of going to shoreline is your classes are you're taking the same classes, but at the end of the end of, end of the day, you're gonna have a higher GPA than someone at UW because their classes are harder, even though it's the same class. Um, so that's another benefit of going to Shoreline or going to community college in general. I have a cousin who actually just started going to Shoreline this last this fall of 2022, and one of the reasons why he chose Shoreline is because. He saw that it worked for me. And now four years later, I'm about to graduate. I have a full-time offer from a company. It It's a perfect recipe. I mean, if obviously computer science, we can talk about that, how much they make and it's insane. But I'm saying even in engineering, 
there you can make money and it's not all about money but also like at the end of the day you want to be enjoying what you want to what you're doing um and he saw that i did two years at a community college and then transferred to uw and it's working out and so basically he was like if it works for him it should work for me and so um i recommend i highly recommend not only saving your money um you would save tuition at shoreline right now i think is i think about 21 or 22000 out of state um that's including room and board um and the same for the first two years at uw or any other school public school you're looking at i don't know 56 to 60k and that's a matter of $40,000 for your single year um so the end of two years you're saving almost $80,000 that's a lot of money and so it's a no brainer just go to a community college work hard and you can not only get into uw you can get into almost any school that you want to it all it all comes down to you working hard and if you put some effort and take your future seriously it's not that hard um so yeah that's my my video <laughs>